IQ Blast is an example of a supplement that thrives more on marketing than on real science. It leans heavily on flashy branding and pseudoscientific medical ideas like brain detox or leaky brain syndrome. The problem? These aren't medical diagnoses. Nevertheless, once a catchy name like IQ Blast gains traction through aggressive advertising, it usually sparks a wave of imitators, often from anonymous online sellers, who cash in on the hype. The end result is a crowded marketplace where the label might sound impressive, but what's inside is often inconsistent, unverified, and in some cases risky. In this review, we're going to try to focus on the ingredients most often linked to IQ Blast's original formula, if there even was one. Do any of these ingredients have solid scientific evidence behind them when it comes to supporting brain health or boosting cognitive performance? Bacopa is a herb long used in Ayurvedic medicine, and research does suggest it has some potential for supporting memory and cognitive function in healthy adults. A meta-analysis found that doses of 300 to 600 milligrams daily, taken for at least 12 weeks, may improve certain aspects of cognition, but the benefits seem limited to healthy people. For example, in studies on patients with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, Bacopa didn't provide meaningful improvements in memory, symptoms, or overall well-being compared to a placebo. Another important detail, the doses that showed promise were in the hundreds of milligrams per day, much higher than what a supplement like IQ Blast is likely to include. By the way, I review a lot of supplements here, so subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated. And support me on coffee if you enjoy the content. B vitamins, especially B12, along with minerals like selenium, are often marketed as essential for brain health. While it's true they're important for basic body and brain functions, research consistently shows that supplementation offers little to no boost in brain performance. In healthy older adults, taking B12 for up to two years doesn't improve test scores related to memory or thinking. Even in those with mild cognitive decline or dementia, adding B vitamins hasn't led to meaningful improvements. So while these nutrients are vital for overall health, the idea that they can sharpen memory or focus when taken as a supplement is more myth than reality. Citicoline is related to other well-known nutrients like choline and phosphatidylcholine. In Europe, it's prescribed as a drug for certain types of cognitive impairment, especially those linked to vascular issues like strokes, while in the US, it's sold as a dietary supplement. Research is mixed. In adults with Alzheimer's disease, taking 1000 mg daily for 12 weeks modestly improved cognitive scores compared to placebo. But in people with vascular dementia, citicoline didn't help at all. In otherwise healthy older adults with mild age-related memory issues, doses of 500 to 2000 mg daily for up to 12 weeks showed moderate improvements in memory. However, there's no evidence it boosts brain power in healthy younger adults. And importantly, the doses used in studies are far higher than what a product like IQ Blast could realistically deliver. Maritime pine bark extract, often sold under the brand name Pycnogenol, has some weak but interesting evidence behind it for cognitive health. In one small study, older adults who took 150 mg daily for 3 months showed slight improvements in cognitive function compared to those on a placebo. Another small study in college students found that 100 mg daily for 2 months seemed to boost average test scores just a little. The results are modest, but they suggest there might be some benefit, though nothing groundbreaking. Phosphatidylserine is a type of fat that helps form nerve cells in the brain. Some studies show it can improve memory, attention, and verbal skills in people with age-related cognitive decline. In Alzheimer's patients, it's been linked to better cognitive scores and some behavioral improvements, especially in those with milder symptoms. However, the benefits tend to fade after about 16 weeks, and it does not slow down the disease itself. Also, in healthy people, the evidence for boosting brain health is simply not there. Finally, the effective dose in studies is usually around 300 mg per day, far more than a supplement like IQ Blast is likely to include. L-theanine is an amino acid found naturally in tea. 
When taken at 100 milligrams daily, it can reduce mistakes on mental tests, and when paired with caffeine, the combo seems to improve focus and attention span. Still, caffeine is the bigger player in that partnership. Theanine's benefits also seem stronger in people with mild cognitive difficulties, while in those with more serious decline, the improvements aren't as noticeable. Of all the ingredients found in IQ Blast, L-theanine is probably the one with the most reliable evidence for actually supporting brain function. Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, has been studied for both brain and mood benefits. Some small trials suggest it may modestly improve cognition in healthy older adults. But where curcumin really stands out is mood support. Multiple studies show that daily doses of 500 to 1000 milligrams can help reduce depression symptoms, sometimes performing as well as prescription antidepressants like Prozac. It may also help improve anxiety symptoms when compared with placebo. However, these benefits require high doses, often hundreds of milligrams to grams per day, much higher than what you'd ever find in IQ Blast. IQ Blast promotes itself as an all-in-one brain booster, cramming a long list of supposedly helpful ingredients into a single capsule. The problem is, when you try to fit that much into one pill, the amount of each ingredient becomes so small that it's unlikely to do much of anything. Research shows that many of these compounds only work at much higher doses than what IQ Blast probably delivers. Rather than this scattershot approach, a more effective strategy would be to focus on a smaller number of proven supplements, each taken at the clinically tested amounts that are actually shown to make a difference. IQ Blast sells for around $70 a month, but the doses just don't justify the cost. If you're healthy and simply looking for a small mental edge, Combining something like Bacopa and L-theanine would likely give you better results, and only cost $4-6 to $6 a month each. If you're dealing with mild cognitive issues, supplements like Citicoline and Phosphatidylserine may be more appropriate, and together they'd run around $8-12 to $12 a month each. Rating IQ Blast by Effectiveness for Improving Cognition, I'm giving it a D. The doses are too low to provide meaningful benefits. Rated by cost, I'm giving it a D. It can be easily replicated with much higher quality ingredients at a far cheaper cost. Rating it for safety, I'm giving it a C. With so many copycats flooding the market, you never know what you're getting. Overall rating, I'm giving an F. I would recommend you stay away from it. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share them in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you know someone who could benefit from this, please share it with them. Finally, if you enjoy what we do and want to learn more, consider supporting us on Coffee, and be sure to check out our other socials as well.